Hey guys, so I have got the pant overlay here. That is one leg, which you can see on the ground now. The rest is up there. That's the second pant leg. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just going to work on one. Well, actually half of one because obviously it's got the front and then the back, which is underneath. Um, so I need to figure out how I am going to do these peacock feathers, those ones. So I've got all my reference images up on my computer screen and I do have this cut out, which is a sequined fabric. And then, um, I started putting on the blue sequins for the center part, but then I decided I would do the easy option, which is to use sequin fabric so <laughs> I'm not going to be sewing individual sequins anymore um, but that's a good patch um, reference for the size um, I do like the shape of that and the size of it so I think I'm going to stick with that I'm going to cut out the rest of those pieces out of the sequin fabric and the blue sequin fabric and I'm also going to work out where this ribbon will go and this ribbon will be all of the you know the ribbon detailing <laughs> um yeah what else is there oh placement of these so i haven't figured out how many are actually on her pants but i've decided i'm going to see if i can get away with four on each pan on each pant leg so that means two in the front and then two in the back so there'd be one here one there and then obviously same on the other side. Um, so then that means there would be eight of these in total on the pants. And then for the cape, there would be another eight. So altogether that's 16 peacock feathers. And when you think about 16, that's already a lot. So I don't wanna go any more than that. Um, and yeah, I don't really want to film um, me doing things. I'm rather just going to update you every time I do something. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And as for the gathering, gathering stitches are all in along the bottom, um, but I think it'd be easier to leave the gathering for now and work on placement of these first and then gather everything up. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if you're wondering, this is this is the trim that will go along the waist and then I've got a whole bag full of trim for the bodice in here which I'm going to hopefully leave the bodice till last um, because that's easy hand sewing well I hope it's easy <laughs> um, easy hand sewing not requiring too much thinking whereas this pant business oh this requires a lot of brain power <laughs> which I don't want to leave last minute so yeah, it's about two months until I want to get this costume done. I am not sure if I will be able to. We'll see. So I've just cut out two of each of these pieces for now. Um, just so I can do the front half of one pant leg and see how it goes. Um, I don't want to cut out all of these shapes and then realise that they're either too big or too small or just the wrong shape. Um, so these are the two shapes I've got more of a teardrop shape and then a more round shape with just a point on the top. Um, I did cut out these ones initial, initially, um, but they seemed a bit too oval, um, whereas this one's a lot more round and circular. And I think laid over the top of the gold piece, um, it just gives more of a nicer, rounder shape. Um, yeah, some more width to it. So that's what I'm thinking for that. Um, also, this gold sequin fabric, I thought it would be okay, um, but then compared to the ribbon that I bought, it's actually very pink. Um, so I may paint this fabric. I'm not sure yet. I just want to get placement right and everything, and then then I'll decide. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that I've got these pieces, so that one and that one, don't worry about these, put those aside. Um, now I'm just going to arrange them on this pant leg. So I'm thinking one will go 
around here somewhere where that pin is and then the other will go closer to where that pin is and then I don't think I'll put anything there I did have a pin there as a marking for one but I think most of this will be hidden on the inside leg pant seam thing it, it be, it'll be hidden on the inside so when I say the inside I mean like your inner leg so none of that will be really seen it's just the outer ones that will be um, so I'm going to see if I can get away with two and then using this ribbon I will expand the little feather things outwards and then that will provide more width and hopefully that will fill up the space over here so I will get back to you once I've got something <laughs> so I've pinned the two pieces down and I just held the pants up next to myself and both of those need to be shifted over towards the um, side seam more because that one keeps getting hidden in all the folds and that one gets hidden um, behind the side seam fold so I'm going to shift that one out to the side seam so it's basically on the side seam and then that one I'm just going to shift out a little bit more so it's not really on the center front of the leg but more towards the side front so I'm going to do that and then and then I'll see <laughs> so new plan um, this is too hard to do um, on the ground and holding it up to myself so instead I've brought up the actual pants I am going to drape this over the actual pants which is currently just hanging on a hook <laughs> um, and then work out the placement of the feathers while it's on that. This is the closest I've got to a mannequin or a dress form so yeah doing it on the ground is just not working. Um, change of plans again so after I've ironed it we'll be able to drape this on me and pin the peacock feather things to the organza while it's on me so I get completely correct placement um, because when it's hanging on the coat hanger it's not very accurate so yeah okay so I have the pants on now I'm looking in the mirror at the moment and so the overlay is on the pants it's just pinned at the waist and um, I've just tucked in the bottom edge of the pant overlay I haven't gathered it yet um, because I want to do the placement of those um, feather things and as you can see there isn't enough fabric on the sides to reach under and be attached to the cuff of the pants so that part there is just going to float above the ground like that and then the rest of it which is long enough to tuck under will be gathered in under and so this is just giving me an idea of what parts stick out more and where the um, feathers will need to be placed so they will be seen um, and you can see a little bit of piecing together happening on that side it's also on this side as well you can't really see it there it is um, so yeah I'm quite happy with how the pants look at the moment um, I do need to sew the top part and there's about five hooks and eyes in the back of the pants at the moment because there are a lot of layers so yeah now my sister and I are just going to pin the peacock feather things to the pant overlay um, and I thought this would just be best done when the pants are on me rather than hung up on a coat hanger um, because then I get the full view of how it looks um, so yeah we've got eight eight of these peacock things cut out and we're going to put two on the front two on the other side and then two in the back of each pant leg um, so yeah that's the plan and I will check back in soon So quick update before I go off to bed, I tried pinning these ribbons onto the pant overlay and it's not completely pinned but you can sort of see the effect 
of having so many little ribbons um, very closely spaced to one another and it sort of looks messy and I'm not that pleased with it so I guess I'm going to try a different approach that's a problem for tomorrow <laughs> So as you would have seen in that um, sped up time lapse clip, um, we pinned down all of these little gold ribbons and compared to what it looked like last night, um, this is a lot more sparse. There's about 12 ribbons on each side of the teardrop shape um, and at the moment they're just pinned in place. I've yet to do the top part. Um, I'll probably get to that after I have attempted to sew this down and I'm thinking of machine stitching this down uh, with some gold thread and sewing along each of these and then for anywhere where it touches the sequins I will hand sew that. Um, that's the plan for now but we'll see how that goes because I've heard that sewing on this very fine organza is very difficult um, so yeah I've yet to decide what's happening there and then as for the tiara I'm not making the tiara it's actually my sister who is and this is what's been done so far um, the inside has still need to be painted um, and this still needs to be stuck on and um, a few things to mention I guess are these little chain things are from the additional necklace I bought um, all of these gold things are made out of uh, malleable wire that my sister had and then did you paint these gold or is that yeah, the color right. that's the color of the wire so she didn't paint those um, these flower things were from were they from the dollar store yes, the dollar. yeah so these were these flower things were from the dollar store, a dollar for 15 of them, and she painted those to match um, the rest of the costume, obviously teal. And then this main piece, um, oh, the this part here is just foam, and then this middle part here is from the necklace, and then these two parts are wire, and then there are little rhinestones that we bought off eBay for about mm, less than five dollars for a pack of like hundreds um, and those have just been stuck in the center and in various places um, so we might be adding more little rhinestones not sure yet and um, adding some hairpins or something to keep this in place on the head but at the moment it's looking really good um, and yeah, and by the way, I, if you're wondering how much of this ribbon I've got, I've got 75 meters. I'm hoping that is enough. <laughs> we'll see. That's all for now. Um, I'm going to go away and see if I can machine stitch this. I will update you if it fails or if it's successful. Okay, quick update, change of plans. Instead, we're going to put on a Netflix movie and move on to what we're calling the fishbone feathers. Um, so th this is what we're calling the teardrop feathers. Now we're going to pin the fishbone feathers and then I will be able to sew them down. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll get it done tonight. <sighs>
So, quick update as to where we got. Um, it's now the next evening, and this is the one from last night, which is still currently pinned, and I was contemplating whether or not to sew it down because I wasn't 100% in love with it. Um, but this is the one that we have sewn down. Well, I sewed it down using the machine, and I'm really happy that I am able to use the machine, and I don't actually have to hand sew all of it. Um, but this is a lot more sparse, as you can see, especially going up there. And these little branch things uh, are more, they're draped down a little bit. Whereas this one, they sort of just, um, I don't know, they were too long. And even though they're draping downwards to emulate a pre peacock feather, they don't, it, it gives a more spidery effect. Um, whereas this one is just a little bit, I don't know, to me it looks nicer. Um, so we're going to take out all the pins from that one and I'm hoping that tonight I can get so this one's done I haven't sewn any of the um, ribbon where the sequins are because the machine obviously can't sew through sequins so this will all need to be done by hand um, but I do want to get this one done so this is sort of half pinned and yeah if I can get this one done that means I've got two peacock feathers on the pants fully sewn down um, so that's the plan and if I can get two peacock feathers done per night that would be amazing at this rate um, so far I think there's going to be 18 no 16 peacock feathers in total uh, eight on the pants and eight on the cape uh, so four on each leg and then four on each arm for the cape so that's that's the plan and so far so good <laughs> 